Yeah, good morning. That proposal climbing over a big hurdle last night, getting through the Public Safety Committee by a vote of 12 to 8 as it goes to the full council here this morning. And we do expect, just like last night, a lot of emotional debate. From the beginning, the Public Safety Committee hearing last night was testy. Chairman, the, the um, committee is standing in recess for 15 minutes. Oh, uh, man, you got to be kidding me. When it finally got going, emotions were running high on both sides of the proposed Civilian Police Oversight Commission. One alderman near tears when discussing two very high-profile police shootings that ended with teenagers dying. One of our children died murdered by the police. He wasn't the only one. Adam Toledo was shot by the police. We don't want more Adam Toledo's and we don't want more Laquan McDonald's. Adam Toledo was not murdered by the police. So I'm sorry, people, if anybody wants to bet me better salary, he was not murdered. That officer was doing his job. Over the weekend, the mayor and progressive members of the city council reached a compromise plan to create a civilian oversight commission. If approved, the new civilian oversight commission would be made up of a seven person board appointed by the mayor. It could write policy and take no confidence votes on top police officials, but could also be vetoed by the mayor. The police union president says the commission is unnecessary. The police have several layers of oversight already. We're looking at COPA, IAD, Inspector General, just to name a few. You have the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. You have the State Attorney General's Office. You have the Training and Standards Board Certification Board down in Springfield. That's six layers of oversight right now. There is no need to add a seventh. The mayor, live tweeting during the meeting last night, said, quote, I strongly urge committee members to support the negotiated compromise. Activists say the proposal is just a good start. We're thankful that we even got this far, but we got to understand that we have to go further. The meeting will get started in about an hour and a half. We are live at City Hall. I'm Eric Rock, WGN News. A new watchdog report says Chicago.